For TigerDetails.com, Jarrett Roser with Ron Higgins. Uh, contrary to the, the weird echoing 50 cent, we're not in the club. We're in Tiger Stadium following a 65 to 14 defeat of Northwestern State, where things early were, were a little off, particularly on the defensive side. And I think some fans were getting a little bit restless when the Demons score the first touchdown in series history and go up 7-3 and are able to have some success. Uh, how concerned were you early? And then obviously LSU turns things around and writes the ship in a very emphatic way. I thought they had a right to be concerned. I, mean, I know you're losing a lot of defensive starters this week, didn't play, I realize that. But uh, at LSU you recruit guys who can play, even as backups, and you go in there and it almost looked like they were just trying to get interested in playing the game for a while. And then they kind of got shocked into it on the second touchdown when the receiver was so wide open I mean, he, he could have called it riding a tricycle in the end zone. He was so open. It, it was just – and that really with the shock value of that probably really woke LSU up for the second half. They made adjustments at halftime, uh, you know, talking to uh, Jacoby Stevens. He talked about how at halftime basically they decided not to rush so much on third down, drop back in coverage and force – the quarterback to make quicker decisions with guy in coverage, and they, play, they played more man coverage, and, and it worked. And it was very important to them that they shut them out in the second half. And of course, the offense was the offense. Just uh, 610 yards, receivers targeted 32 times, caught 29 balls. Just uh, Joe Burrow was off the charts. Miles Brennan came in, it was eight for nine. It's like you, you're kind of getting used to this now. It's uh, and, and I hope all you fans don't get spoiled. I'm gonna date myself, but back when I was a kid when Pete Maravich would just score 38 points in the game, people walk out the act sort of saying, I mean, he was really off tonight, wasn't he? He didn't score 45 or 50. And I hope fans don't get used to it. Because in the SEC play, if they can do this in the SEC play, they'll win the national championship. But in the SEC play, you got better defenses coming up. You know, Vanderbilt's always played decent defense next week. But right now, LSU goes in this SEC play with a lot of momentum, but they got to fix some stuff defensively still. I just feel there's some things defensively, they're not quite there yet. Yeah, when you see for a second straight week, some guys like Grant Delpit missing tackles and things like that, and a team like Northwestern State able to control the line of scrimmage and, and sustain drives and, and kind of wear them out as they did in the first half, which is something you saw from Texas in the second half a little bit. But even with guys out, as you mentioned, I don't think the Demons are going to feel too sorry for LSU ever from a depth standpoint. And so for them to have that success uh, moving the ball, sustaining drives in, in the first half is, is probably the biggest the biggest concern. But they, they did come out and start the, the second half with those three three and outs and allow Burrow and company to get rolling. I mean, the tackling is, is a problem, and it just seems to me they keep not wrapping up, but rather just trying to body people and, and, and just and just try to knock the hell out of them. And guys are just bouncing off of them, and they keep running, and they're not wrapping up, uh, which is unusual because that's all they practice in the, in the drills we see in practice is wrapping up and trying to knock a ball out, but wrapping up and not bouncing, bouncing off of people. And it's something they've got to solve. Uh, uh, offensively, there, there's still this – I, I, this concern that I, I, I kind of laugh about that, well, LSU's running game was just not quite there yet. Well, he got 110 yards tonight, and as Joe Burris said, this is our offense now. This is what we do. We throw to set up the run, okay? And and if we're going to throw and throw and throw, they can't stop us. We're like, why should we hand the ball off? I think LSU will be able to run when they're supposed to run. But if you're getting chunks of 20 and 30 yards a, a play throwing the ball, do you need to you know, like hand the ball off to get five or six just to like keep a defense off balance? No, I don't think you do. This is the new LSU, and there's a lot of fans and some media who are so used to seeing LSU in the past, like, well, if they'll, run for, if they'll run for 200 yards, they're just not very good. Well, that's dead now. It's dead. It's funny you talk about the offense being the offense and not taking that for granted. We were looking it up late in the game. 65 points was the highest total in regulation since 91 against Arkansas State. Not a lot of times in this program's history have they scored that many. And you look back to a couple times in 77 when Steve Ensminger was, was among the quarterbacks. Joe Burrow now, three of his past four games are among the top eight passing totals in LSU history. Uh, tonight ends up being number eight following that huge outing in, in Texas. And he's sitting at... 1,122 yards, 11 touchdowns, two interceptions, with a whole lot of guys uh, involved, completing now up over 83% of his passes through three games. And Justin Jefferson, after the game, talked about if he's up over 
1,100 yards right now, it's, it's difficult to imagine him not surpassing some records because even you look at that t 2001 season and, and Rohan was not at this point through three games. No, he, he wasn't. You know, it took a while to get going. I mean, Jimbo was offensive coordinator. And, they, you know, they're still trying to figure their offense out. That's the thing that's amazing about this offense. People thought there would be like this big, you know, period where they got to get adjusted to it. They came out of the gates burning it, and they still are. And this not really be slowing down what they do. This is what they do. Again, this is what they do, 65-14 defeat of Northwestern State. For Ron Higgins, I'm Jarrett Roser. Thanks for watching.